last one I played was San Andreas on the PC. And I was I was blown away by that game when it came out. Um, not, I mean, it, yeah, it's a crime simulator, but uh, it was just what you could do in it, the size of the world and everything, it was amazing. And then um, later I got the Grand Theft Auto V for the Xbox 360, and it was massive too, but... <sighs> They they were adding in so much graphic detail to the thing to make it kind of realistic looking that I think the world like majorly shrunk. The Liberty City was only the size of one of the cities in um, what you call it uh, San Andreas. But I hear they are going to revisit San Andreas in the new one, uh, so that should be interesting. But I mean. What are, what are they going to do? I mean, it, it better be an interesting story because, I mean, you shot up a lot of guys <laughs> in, the, in these last couple. Oh, we're lagging. Must be a volcano around somewhere. Looks like there's some land off to the northeast there, so that's where I'm going to head. Let's board our little Titanic, our mini Titanic. Watch out for this iceberg. Ah! It was an honor playing with you gentlemen. And we're going to be heading up towards uh, 18,000 blocks soon. So we're going to cross over here. See if I can cut a little bit north. But we're going to hit, looks like we're going to hit land anyway. Uh, it's lagging. Lagging like a doggy. Mm, mm, mm. Well, too bad those rivers are frozen. go up those rivers. What is that over to the east? That's yeah, probably just misrendered in the map. Alright! Oh god! Wow! What is going on here? Please don't tell me a volcano's rising up under my butt. I've already said, no butt volcanoes. And I hope it's not because I'm generating three trillion uh, megs of land mass here. Ah, more dry land. We don't have to suffer the ocean again. Hello, pig guys! How are you and your society today? I see you're awfully naked again. I must continue northward. Yes, we hear you are traveling to the ends of the earth, to the ends of Minecraft. Yeah, we're so proud of you, Mr. Green Gary. I'm proud of me too, Mr. Pigman. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got. A, there's a few movies coming out. I'm waiting to see. It's definitely going to be a Marvel year. Uh, you have, I believe, another Iron Man. Maybe not Iron Man, but another Spider-Man uh, coming out later this year. Uh, you have the Avengers. Maybe another Iron Man is coming out, Iron Man 3. Uh, but another, uh, the Avengers is coming out, which will be interesting to see, because they include in this movie one of my favorite characters, which is Hawkeye. He is like the most underrated, just like normal super, normal powered superheroes of all time. Uh, just so underrated. I, I just Marvel does not give him enough credit that they'll give him his own movie or series. I mean, yes, he has had his own comic series in the past. And he's even died and come back. So <laughs> he's he does have a fan base, but they're not giving him a movie. Uh, like all the other Avengers have had so far. And I find that kind of unfair. What, I, what would be nice is to have a, kind of a Marvel Universe uh, trilogy movie. Uh, if you've ever gotten into comics, uh, there was a... Back in the... I think it was... Yeah, just in the 80s. There was a, a series called The Secret Wars. 
basically all the big bad superheroes of Marveldom uh, versus all the villains taken to the oops taken to the secret world uh, beyond the Earth from the Beyonder, and uh, it um, they battled it out. They had basically the Beyonder wanted to, them to settle it. You know, what's your guy's problem? Why do you fight like this? If you're gonna fight, fight to the bitter end. And that was a really cool story. That was one of their best stories ever. Um, they haven't really done anything like that in a while. Or maybe even the Civil War story. The Civil War story was not that bad. Uh, it just got dragged out for far too long and it ended up killing Captain America, which was stupid. Now, uh, you got uh, Johnny Storm um, from the Fantastic Four is dead. That was dumb. It's basically every couple of years, uh, <laughs> comic book companies tend to take the dartboard of characters and say, we're going to kill this one now. No real thought to it. And Johnny Storm, as you know, is the flame. Uh, I mean, he's not one of the most popular characters, but I like the Fantastic Four. They're like classic primo characters, you know, like when you go back into the Silver Age of Comics, there is the Fantastic Four. And they just offered up a lot of good stuff. Okay, let's sleep this night away. Get going. Um, I am here. Can I craft milk? Yay! I think I just craft it. That's cool. Alright. Back on our way out. We have to do some mountain climbing, it looks like. That's quite alright by me. So yeah, it'd be kind of cool to have a, a big Marvel bash up. You know, get the X-Men in there, get the Avengers, get the Fantastic Four. Even though the Fantastic Four movies were kind of subpar. I still enjoyed them. Because <laughs> I'm corny like that. I'm a corny nerd. Uh, Alright. We've approached... We're past the 18,000 mark. We're pretty good. I mean, I've been on foot for most of this recording session, so that's good. I get a little nervous that there's just going to be ocean upon ocean upon ocean. But we have ended up finding dry land. I've seen dry land! Kevin Costner. Who has starred in a movie with Whitney Houston? It was uh, The Bodyguard. Which was an okay movie. Not my kind of movie. <laughs> Like a romantic sort of thing. Romantic thriller. I'm taking a chance. Uh, do I really try to explore this out? Do I risk another ocean? It looks like I'm gonna have to. Ooh, turtles! Hello, little turtles! Hello, little guys! How are you? I know. You're afraid of me. I turn you on your back. Oh, There's a bug right now with Dr. Zark. More creatures that the turtles have lost uh, half their legs. Ah, well. They're okay, don't worry. I was, uh, I was out back in our backyard today. And I usually just kind of like to sit there sometimes and watch our, the squirrels in our backyard. Yeah, we, we've got probably about a half dozen that are regular back there. Uh, I can't tell one apart from the other. Uh, except for this one that I saw today. It looked like uh, something was wrong with his hip or one of his back legs. Um, but he was slow climbing up a tree, and that's how I first noticed him. And um, oh, looks like might be some land up north, but it is a swamp. 
And the squirrel was having trouble getting up a tree. He was about going about half the speed of the other squirrels in the area. Uh, there's something wrong with him. And we have a wooden fence in the backyard uh, that they like to use as like a highway. And this little guy, bless his little heart, he's trying to scamper along, but his back legs are not working properly. So his ass kept falling off the, the fence. Uh, you know, just flip flop. Oh, <laughs> watch the lily pad. Um, yeah, he kept flip flopping back and forth, and I felt so bad. But uh, And it looked like something got him, because his tail was a little uh, messed up. Like there was a chunk of fur missing out of his tail. So it was probably a raccoon or a, a cat or something in the, in the area that got him. I felt bad, but you know, there's nothing you can do. You, you can't... Squirrels, I will tell you, they are the nastiest creatures you've, you've ever seen. Do not be fooled by their little rodent and cuteness. <laughs> they are nasty, nasty creatures. A lot of people say, oh, I want to keep a squirrel as a pet. No, you don't. Uh-oh. Jungle slimes. <laughs> they are so ill-tempered, it's not even funny. Um, I've gone through the list of what would make a good pet. Uh, from as far as, like, wild, wild creatures, you know, you know, outside of dogs and cats, lizards, and snakes, and turtles, and stuff like that. The normal, usual pet. I was looking at what might make a good pet. And I came across squirrels. And I was like, would a squirrel make a good pet? And they're like, no. <laughs> uh, first of all, they would not survive if in captivity. There is something they, they require, some sort of vitamin, uh, that if they did not have, they would die. So if you kept them indoors, um, they would die. And they need to move around a lot, otherwise they uh, will just kind of become sullen and depressed if they cannot move, so you can't keep them in a cage. However, you can't let them just run around the house either, because A, they're going to chew up everything, and B, they will just poop all over the place. So you have little squirrel nuggets all over the place. Oh, I'm probably getting thirsty here. See what you want to take care of. Three dots. Not bad. And two. And the food. But yeah, they and they just have a nasty disposition. The only thing you could do as far as squirrels is... You can make friends with a squirrel outside. Do not try to pet them, but they will come up and eat food from you if, if, you're, if you're regular enough about it, uh, if you create a pattern of it. You can feed a squirrel from your hand, but never try to pet them. They, they're quite nasty. If you ever heard a squirrel scream, uh, they're... Uh, <laughs> My dad used to call them bushy-tailed tree rats. And they would they would chase away all the birds cuz my dad and my mom love uh love birds and they have a bird feeder in the back. And his mission in life was to make it impossible for those squirrels to get at the bird feeder. And they would chase away all the birds just to get at all the seeds. So I kept uh devising these little contraptions not to kill the squirrels, but to make it hard for them to get onto the feeder. We've reached over 19,000. Yeah, so squirrels are nasty little pieces of work. As cute as they are, they're great to watch. You don't want to catch one, because they will bite you quicker than quick. Uh, I've seen a lot of squirrel chasers in like parks and stuff like that. I've seen a commercial, actually, a long time ago. Where some guys were chasing squirrels, and I was like, you don't really want to catch that. <laughs> And our cat, when she gets out of the house, loves to chase squirrels. And I just regret the day that she actually catches one and doesn't kill it instantly. <laughs> but this little guy, he was chasing the other couple squirrels around so diligently. And <laughs> I felt so bad. But he, he was only moving half the speed. The problem is... 
at half the speed for a squirrel is dead. Any other predator is going to just take that thing out. Man. And it, you know, makes me sad. But at the same time, it's just a freaking squirrel. And there's two dozen more waiting to take its place. <laughs> and I tried so hard, like a little champ, to keep up with the other squirrels. And as soon as he would get to their position, they would run off again. Like they were resting on a branch, waiting for him to catch up. He got there, and they ran off. They were like, ah, yeah, jerks. Alright, so soon I'm coming up on 20,000. 20, 20, 20,000. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 20, 20,000. Oh, God, it's a volcano. Volcanoes are going to end me, aren't they? Something is. You know what? You know what's going to end me? Is I'm in a swamp right now. That's where the freaking alligators are. And I'm lagging because of a volcano. Grr. 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 <laughs> yeah. Lagging. <coughs> Something bad's gonna happen to me. It's gonna eat me. Cool. Look at the spider and some webs. Hey, little guy. How are you? How's it going? Yeah. Just checking me out. I'm checking you out. Getting towards dark time. Hopefully, we can get further, far enough away from that volcano. Oh, jeez. It's already spitting out. Well, it's already spitting out volcano snot. Please don't kill me, Volcano. What if I throw that spider in as a sacrifice? Well, we are close enough to my goal. And technically I've only made it 6,000 blocks. But this is pretty much the 2% mark. That's not bad. As somebody put it, we're downloading a very large file. <laughs> Net funny. So I will see you all soon. I'm going to, right after this is done, after you're done watching this little sequence, I will show you the progress we have made, the lands we have traveled. So glad to be back on land. And I will see you soon. You have a good one now. You may well decide whether mankind is bettered or destroyed by the products of science.